My name is Sai Prasanna, I have qualified TSET and CSR net and now I am here to deal with the first 5 units of our TSPSC DL syllabus. Okay? And the first unit here is Phycology, Mycology, Bacteria and Viruses, wherein the number of questions appeared in the previous examination are 8 to 10 and the books we need to follow and refer are of course Telugu Academy for sure from class 11, 12 and BSc. And complete information is there in this book, Microbiology, Phycology, Mycology, Diversity and Economic Importance written by B.P. Pandey. Okay? And what topics we need to cover under Phycology? Under Phycology, we have to cover thallus organization, cell ultrastructure, reproduction, both asexual and sexual reproduction, followed by criteria for classification. In algae, the major criteria we use are pigments, reserve food material and flagella which they are using for asexual reproduction. Next, classification and salient features of the subdivisions included in the algae. What are they? Chlorophyta, Chorophyta, Xanthophyta, Bacillariophyta, Pheophyta and Rhodophyta. All these salient features include, we need to learn about its habitat, habit, thallus organization, reproduction both asexual and sexual in sexual again isogamous anisogamous oogamous most importantly is the haplontic life cycle of the algae and if there are any exceptions like fucus which conducts diplontic life cycle ectocarpus haplontic li uh, haplodiplontic life cycle all these exceptions also we need to focus a lot okay and then comes the economic importance which includes algae as food, feed, role of algae in industry and algal blooms and toxic algae, algal biofertilizers. In first unit, phycology is very important because four questions appeared from this segment of that unit. Okay? Next comes mycology. In mycology also, beginning or initially we will be dealing with the general characters of fungi, then substrate relationships in fungi, cell ultrastructure, unicellular and multicellular organization, cell wall composition, nutrition, saprobic, biotropic and symbiotic. Next, heterothalism, heterokaryosis, parasexuality. Next concept is molecular aspects in classification of the fungi. Next, general account of these subdivisions of eumycota. What are they? Mastigomycotina, Zygomycotina, Ascomycotina, Basidiomycotina and Deuteromycotina. Here we will be focusing on the fungal mycelial structures, hyphal structures and most importantly is the range of spores. From here the questionnaire is asked in the previous examination, range of spores, what are the asexual spores, sexual spores of each the subdivision of fungi. Next, fungi in industry, medicine and as food. Next, fungal diseases in plants and humans. Next is mycorrhizae, fungi as biocontrol agents. This ends the mycology segment of unit 1. Next is microbiology which includes both bacteria and viruses. Okay? Under bacteria, we are learning ultrastructure and biochemistry of cell wall, nutritional types, reproduction and plasmids. Reproduction here we will learn asexual that is fission in the molecular level and sexual recombination where, we'll, where we need to learn in depth of three things that is conjugation, transformation and transduction. And about all the types of plasmids involved and we are using plasmids as antibiotics as vectors now we need to learn about all of them next is viruses viruses also we need to focus on the characters and ultra structure of viruses then symptomology and transmission of plant viruses and molecules general characters of specially spiroplasmas and phytoplasmas importance of microorganisms microbes in medicines agriculture and environment this completes unit 1. In unit 1, when we analyze previous year paper, most of the questions are asked from phycology. 3 and 3 from microbiology and mycology. I hope unit 1 is clear. Syllabus of unit 1 and marks 
question range is clear to us. Next comes is unit 2 which includes bryophyta, pteridophyta and gymnosperms and the number of questions same 10 to 12 questions ok. Books to be followed again Telugu Academy from class 11 and to BSc. Next pteridophytes, gymnosperms, angiosperms written by B. P. Pandey of S. Chand publications where complete mostly 90% of the syllabus is covered in that. Next bryophyta, morphology, structure, reproduction and life history we need to cover for all the classes ok. Distribution and classification of these orders ok what are they? Marcantials, Jengermanials, Anthocerotales, Spagnales, Funerials and Polytrichales ok. Here we need to learn the external morphology, internal anatomy and reproduction both asexual and sexual. Then we need to learn about gametophyte and sporophyte. Of course, it is bryophyte it will have haplodiplontic life cycle. Any exceptions we need to focus them more. Next. Economic importance and ecological importance of bryophytes. Next is pteridophytes. Same thing again morphology, anatomy and reproduction, classification of these classes coelopsida, lycopsida, spinopsida and pteropsida. Again complete information external morphology, internal anatomy, reproduction, gametophyte, sporophyte, life cycle. Next evolution of steel, steelar evolution, heterospory and origin of seed habit very important. Question is asked from this segment in previous paper general account of fossil pteridophytes. This completes pteridophytes and from unit 2 when we see previous paper most of the questions are asked from gymnosperms ok like 4 questions are asked. Introduction and classification we need to learn structure and reproduction of cycadales, gingoales, coniferales, ephedrales, wilvichiales and neetales. These are the concepts we need to cover under gymnosperms. Next this ends unit 2. I hope this is clear yes. Now third unit which includes taxonomy of angiosperms. Number of questions are again 10 to 12 same like unit 1 and unit 2. Books to be covered are Telugu Academy and taxonomy of angiosperms written by B. P. Pandey ok. The species concept where we need to learn taxonomic hierarchy where we have seven obligate categories from species to kingdom. We need to also include the subdivisions, tribes, subclasses as well and learn the taxonomic hierarchy. Next is principles used in accessing relationship, next delimitation of tax and attribution of rank, then salient features of international code of botanical nomenclature. This we need to cover. Then comes the taxonomic tools or aids ok, where we need to learn in detail about herbarium, floras, histological and cytological, phytochemical, serological, biochemical and molecular techniques, computers and GIS. Next comes the systems of angiosperm classification of which this is important. Numerical taxonomy and phylogenetic taxonomy comparative study is needed where the study is comparative between numerical taxonomy and taxonomy which includes evolutionary relationships. Then we will learn about cladistics in taxonomy which includes the common ancestry ok. Then relative merits and demerits of all these major systems of classification. Next is study of following families which is very important we can expect 4 to 5 questions from this area ok. What we need to cover from these families? First what families are given? Magnoliaceae, Malvaceae, Rootaceae, Epocyneaceae, Aslipidaceae, Lamiaceae, Amaranthaceae and Poaceae. Of course, first we need to cover all the vegetative characters, vegetative characters where we need to cover root, stem, leaf, their modifications as well. Second thing is floral characters, floral characters where we need to cover the
inflorescence type of inflorescence then flower in flower the calyx corolla andrisium and gynecium we need to learn the aestivation of this cohesion and adhesion of andrisium and then comes seed type of seed and fruit most importantly of all these families we need to focus on the floral diagram floral formula then most importantly is the examples which comes under all these families examples which are of economic importance we need to learn all of them i hope this unit is clear right taxonomy of angiosperms then comes the major unit that is plant anatomy and embryology major part of the questionnaire from core botany is covered from here only where you can expect 18 to 20 questions okay so this chapter is very important okay books to be followed again telugu academy plant anatomy and embryology of bp pande okay of this first we need to learn the shoot development wherein we are learning organization of shoot apical meristem control of cell division cell to cell communication then control of tissue di differentiation xylem and phloem next secretory ducts and lactiferals lacitifers and phyllotaxy and leaf differentiation next one is root development organization of root apical meristem then you need to learn vascular tissue differentiation homeotic mutations in arabidopsis and antiretinal next is the male gametophyte and female gametophyte here the major part you have to focus is microspore mother cells microspores megaspore mother cells megaspores and the ploidy of embryo sac ploidy of male gametophyte all these links are connected with the cell division numericals and ast okay cell division numericals so this you have to learn in connection with the cell division numericals whenever you are going through these topics focus more on the ploidy okay we here we need to learn the structure of anther microsporogenesis role of tapetum then pollen development and gene expression then male sterility sperm dimorphism and hybrid seed production pollen germination pollen tube growth and guidance and you have to focus on pollen storage pollen allergy pollen embryos then comes the female gametophyte here also you have to focus on the ploidy okay ovule development types of ovules megasporogenesis organization of embryo sac and structure of embryo sac cells then comes pollination pollen pistil interaction and fertilization where you need to focus on the floral characteristics pollination mechanisms and vectors self incompatibility double fertilization okay then comes the seed development and fruit growth where you need to focus on endosperm development during early maturation and desiccation stages embryogenesis and cell lineages during late embryo development then you need to focus on storage proteins of endosperm and embryo then we will learn about polyembryony and apomixis this and the last segment of this is embryo culture and fruit maturation then comes the concept of dormancy dormancy where you will learn about seed dormancy overcoming seed dormancy and bud dormancy okay then you will learn senescence and programmed cell death where this topic includes type of cell death programmed cell death in the life cycle of plants and metabolic changes associated with senescence and its regulation then influence of hormones and environmental factors on senescence embryology related to taxonomy okay then the last unit is 
plant resource utilization and conservation. This uh, includes we can expect 12 to 15 questions from here and for this I did not uh, get any standard reference books. So, I will say you to follow the Telugu Academy and our content Chendu Biology classes content. Then here the concepts are like origin, evolution, botany, cultivation and uses of food forage and fodder crops, then fiber crops, then medicinal and aromatic plants, then you will learn vegetative, vegetable oil yielding crops, then ethnobotany scope and objectives of ethnobotany, completely memory based topics ok. Next important firewood and timber where you will learn yielding plants and non wood forest products ok. Then such as bamboos, rattans, raw materials for paper making, gums, tannins, dyes, raisins and fruits. Then role of plants in medicine where you have where we need to learn morphology, active principles and medicinal values of all these plants which are Andrographis, Asparagus, Phylanthus, Gymnema. Of course, we have learned this in our PG also. Next, principles of conservation and extinctions, then environmental study in environmental status of plants based on the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Then the last two segments of our syllabus are in situ and ex situ conservation. When, when I have seen the previous paper just from the syllabus he has picked the sanctuaries or biosphere reserves and he has asked whether it is in situ conservation or ex situ conservation. So, we need to know what are in situ and ex situ conservation methods ok. First thing is international efforts and Indian initiatives then protected areas in India are sanctuaries, national parks, biosphere reserves, wetlands and mangroves, coral reefs for conservation of wild biodiversity. These are the concepts we need to cover under the in situ conservation. Next strategies for ex situ conservations include principles and practices of botanical gardens, yield gene banks and seed banks, in vitro repositors and cryo banks, general account of activities of BSI which means botanical survey of India these abbreviations are also very important ok. National Bureau of Genetic Resources, then ICAR, Indian Council of Agriculture Research, then CSIR, Council of, Indus, Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, last is DBT, Department of Biotechnology for Conservation, Non-Formal Conservation Efforts. So, this is the DL syllabus which I am going to deal with these 5 units core botany syllabus ok. So, welcome you all for this job assurance program.